Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks. I have my Lihit Lab Bloomin' Tray where I'll be getting my materials for today, starting with the ruler, a Paper Mate Ink Joy pen, and my fountain pen, which is a Kaweco Sport. We'll also be using some stickers today, which is the AliExpress clear dots that I got quite a while back, and you have seen me use this before. Setting this aside for now, and I also pulled my Daiso tweezers, which helped me position the stickers. This is my Hobonichi Weeks White Line Soft Cover. This is available also for 2022 if you're interested. And let's go ahead and get started. This video is sped up four times so that you are looking at my actions and it appears that I'm doing it very quickly, but I'm really doing it very slowly. We're using more lines this week because we have a doodle theme and I'll be using a few more lines after this. And I'm just following the lines that are already in the Hobonichi Weeks. I'm just deepening it using the Paper Mate Ink Joy and I've also had this for quite some time. I'm also lining the right side of the page. There's a border there that um, is difficult to see on camera, but I'm just stopping the line on that border. Take your time, no rush, and a few of my subscribers had said that they do play music or even watch videos while they are preparing their pages. Now I'm going to do the vertical lines, and for the left side of the page, I'm Dividing it into two, there is a smaller section on the left hand side, or rather on the right hand side, and a bigger section on the left hand side. Now for that blank space, I'm going to make a tracker section, and I'm making it a bit bigger than it was the last time. And then under that, I will have my notes section, and at the very bottom, I have a next week notes section. Now back to normal speed, this is the page now and it is ready for pen and stickers. This is my go-to fountain pen and you have seen this in all of my Instagram posts about my Hobonichi Weeks and I'm using the ink Pearl Noir from J Urban and once again this is sped up very quickly but in reality I write very slowly and here I'm writing events and appointments on my day overview and later I'll be going through the sections. Here I'm using the dots over the text that I have written. The dots are made of PET plastics, so they are very transparent. And that is what I prefer to use when I am putting stickers on text so that I can still read it. It looks like highlight, but of course they are stickers. On this bigger area, I'm writing my major tasks for today. And I'm not filling it up right now because I believe that there will be things that I need to write down as the week goes on. And then I'm also going to doodle by just making lines, crisscross lines. And the rule of thumb for me for this design is that the bigger the doodle, the more important the item is. So it serves as an emphasis for things that I need to look at when I open my planner. On this little section on the right side of the page or right page, I have minor tasks and I can write up to three tasks on there. For my tracker, I have a few things. Um, I want to keep it neat and not too busy so I don't write down all of the tasks and on those lines I'll be writing X once those are done. 
And then for the notes section, I fill that out at the end of the week or as the week goes on, as well as the one at the bottom. And that is our page for today. It has a lot more information than the pages I've made in the last few weeks. So we have major tasks, the day overview, the minor tasks, a tracker, notes section, and next week. And here it is close up. And I really like how it turned out. And thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.